Irritable Bowel Syndrome, IBS, the stress-related chronic disorder that heavily reduces patient quality of life, QOL, and differences in symptoms between sexes complicates the development of appropriate treatment methods. Professor Yasutake Shimizu will briefly explain his recent findings on the mechanisms responsible for the differences in IBS symptoms between sexes. Over the last few decades, the number of patients with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, has increased considerably. IBS is a stress-related chronic disease. Constipation is a major symptom in female patients with IBS, whereas male patients often experience diarrhea. We are currently attempting to elucidate the underlying mechanism responsible for gender differences in symptoms of IBS patients. In response to pain signal, neurons connecting between the brain and spinal cord are activated to suppress the input of pain signal. This pathway is known as the descending pain inhibitor pathway. We have recently demonstrated that this pathway stimulates the motility of the large intestine. The descending pain inhibitor pathway comprises at least three different neurons. Therefore, at least three neurotransmitters are released in the spinal cord, namely dopamine, serotonin, and GABA. Dopamine and serotonin activate chronic motility and enhance the defecation reflex. Conversely, GABA compete with the stimulatory actions of dopamine and serotonin and stops the defecation reflex. In an experiment using rats, we found that administration of a pain-inducing substance into the colon enhances motility of the large intestine in male rats. In contrast, enhancement of motility is not observed in female rats. In male rats, dopaminergic and serotonergic pathways are activated by painful stimulus. However, in female rats, dopaminergic pathway is not activated in response to painful stimulus. Instead, the GABA pathway is activated and the transmitter inhibited the enhancement of chronic motility. A common symptom in IBS patient is hyperalgesia and therefore it is possible that the descending pain inhibitor pathway are overactivated. In males, Overactivation of the descending pain inhibitor pathways results in excessive enhancement of chronic motility, leading to diarrhea. However, in females, overactivation of the pathway may cause constipation, owing to the excessive release of the inhibitory transmitter GABA in the spinal cord. Patients with IBS are known to experience concurrent dysfunctions of other pelvic and somatic organs. Moreover, sleep disorders, depression, and anxiety often occur together with IBS. The concurrent appearance of multiple symptoms is likely associated with cross-organ sensitization. We propose that cross-organ sensitization can occur between the colon and the brain. Elucidation of the mechanism of cross-organ sensitization will be beneficial in controlling stress-related chronic disease. Dysregulation of interaction between the large intestine and the brain may be related to concurrent appearance of multiple symptoms in IBS. We are now attempting to clarify the specific mechanism of the brain-gut interaction by focusing on the roles of the descending pain inhibitory pathway. We believe 
our project will lead to improvement in the QOL of patients with stress-related chronic diseases.